guys, welcome back to Cricut Monday. What we're going to be doing this week is I had a request to do a Father's Day card since Father's Day is coming up. So I thought I would go ahead and do a card and that way if you all wanted to make it, you'd have plenty of time. So um, what I did is um, I just already have Design Space loaded here on my computer. So I'm going to go to New Project and click on that and it takes us to our canvas. Now I've already um, saved the image that I wanted to do, but I just went to images here on the left, clicked on that, and then went up to search images top right and just typed in Father's Day card. So that's how you find it. But I'm going to go to projects right here. And then I'm going to go to the top where it says all categories and click my projects. Okay, and here's the Father's Day card that I have saved, and it's really easy. Okay, so you will see right here that there is, um, it's set to draw, okay, and I don't want that drawn. I want it to cut it, okay? So I'm just going to click off that little eye, and it won't draw it. It will just cut it. Now I'm going to make it, top right corner. is so simple so it's going to sort it out we're going to use three mats okay so um, as you can see I'll zoom in here really close the um, first mat is going to contain our envelope okay and then mat number two is just going to be this solid piece and then mat number three is actually going to have um, that happy Father's Day with all the tools on it. Okay, so we're going to go up here to the first one and we're just going to go ahead and click on continue right bottom corner and it my um, Cricut is connecting to my computer and what I'm going to do is use light card stock. So I've set my dial on my computer to actually I'm just going to put it on cardstock okay all right and you'll see here it says load scoring stylus in clamp A and then my uh, blade is already in there so now I'm going to switch to my phone so that you can see um, how this actually cuts and then I'll have to load my second and third mat okay so that this is what we're doing right now okay Okay, you'll see that my little light is blinking, so I'm just going to load my mat. Load it like that. Open this clamp, clamp A, and put my uh, stylus right in there, and you see this little arrow right here. You want to load that down in there and then shut the clamp, okay? And this is going to be our envelope, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit the little C. And it will score our envelope. And when I made my Mother's Day card, somehow this got left out, so I'm glad you're going to be able to see it. And you can see right there on the paper where it's actually scoring the envelope. <laughs> And now it's cutting it out. Okay, now that light is blinking and I will go ahead and eject it. And we'll load our second mat. Okay, I've chosen this paper as our um, solid piece so we're going to load it and then we're going to hit the C that's blinking and it's just going to cut off out a big sheet the big square for the um, card and you do need to use 12 by 12 uh, paper or, or cardstock okay so it's finished, we're going to hit that, eject it, and we will work on our third 
mat. And so I've loaded my scoring tool back in because it says load scoring stylus and clamp. just bend it over and do like this and you can see where it cut that out that is so pretty okay and a couple little pieces are still in there and the tie All you have to do is just kind of punch them out. Okay, here it is with everything cut out. I think that is so cute. Now the score line may be a little hard to see with this dark, but it's right down through here. So I'm just going to fold it. On that score line. And then use my bone and just do like this. And then that's that much of the card. It's really dark in here tonight. Um, I don't have really good lighting. I'm sorry about that. Okay, and then I chose this to go right in here. So it can just flip. There's little um, indentations right here cut. So you can just put it right in here And if you wanted to use something lighter, it would probably make it show up better. But I just really liked this collar. Okay, and then that's what you have. Happy Father's Day. But like I said, if you wanted to put something really light behind it, you definitely could. But I think this is just so cute. That is with the wood grain behind it. I think that's adorable. Okay, and then we just have this, our envelope. So all we have to do is just fold it according to the score lines. And these came out much better than my Mother's Day one. For some reason, the score lines weren't um, I, I thought they were harder to see, but this one does not seem to be that hard for me to see. You can probably even tell a difference, okay? And then all we have to do is just put this together. And there that is. And then all we have to do is just slip our Father's Day card right down in the envelope. It is so cute. And then you can see, here's your beautiful envelope and a beautiful card. So I hope you find this useful and that you can make a card for your father or father-in-law. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.